41, and again, we're still following this breaking news in Grandview, getting quite a few reports of an explosion there. 138 them bots, and this is at the Corbion plant. KBC 9's Brenda Washington is live there. And Brenda, you've talked to at least one worker, firefighters, police. What more do you know? Well, right now, uh, Donna, we have Fire Chief Ron Graham who is with us to fill us in on what is happening here. So, Chief, what did we have here? Morning, Brenda. We had a report of an explosion with fire, with injuries. When we got here, we had a small amount of fire in the building. We did have, as you can see, we had an explosion. It occurred about four stories worth of the building. Uh, had three or four injuries, minor injuries at that point. I really don't know the extent of the injuries. Uh, fire is under control. And we're now just in there assessing the structure, make sure it's safe, and trying to determine exactly what happened. Briefly, extent of damage, and where was this explosion exactly? They have some uh, dust collectors uh, in, the, in the building. It appears that it, the explosion happened around one of the dust collectors. Uh, and as you can see, it blew out the whole uh, east side of the wall. On the west side of the building, the wall is not blown out, but it's buckled pretty bad. Uh, men are in there trying to uh, assess the damage now. So it looks like uh, this building this will be shut down, obviously, because of the extensive damage. At least this section of the building. I'm not for sure about the entire process. Their processing system is shut down as of right now. And we are told uh, that this is a plant that processes ingredients uh, for baking, or at least the chemicals for baking supplies. Uh, but again, we have three injuries. You heard the chief say they are minor. Uh, you're looking at the damaged wall that he was talking about right there. My gosh, you can just see all the siding and and uh, debris that's laying uh, here in the parking lot where we are standing. So uh, we are going to be continuing to gather even more information about this fire and explosion again here in Grandview. Brenda Washington, KNBC 9 News.